Yo, what's going down YouTube? Um, right, I'm on my second model now. Uh, as you can see, it's the one-to-one -one, um, scale chest burster from Helicon. Um, it's from the second Aliens movie. Um, and I've just started with the top half and again, like the face I've gone for that newborn salmon pink. So, I have a... Ooh, look! It's a spider. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, so I just started the, the top bit. So, I'm just going to start going down the tail now and then I'll do underneath and then I'm going to start messing around with maybe blood splatter effects after if it's done and finished. So stay tuned for the more exciting finishing products and the pieces for this model. Cheers YouTube. Okie dokie then YouTube, I've uh, finished my first coat, I'm just done the under bottom now. Um, it is looking a sweet colour so I'm just going to leave this now for the next hour so while that's uh, uh, doing that I'm off to go and buy some red spray paint and a syringe to do the blood effects afterwards. So uh, after I get back, if it should be dry, then I can do the second paint, um, and then we'll do the blood effects. All right, so I've got the uh, body and a bit of the tail done, but I just thought since it's my first coat, I just experiment a little bit with the the uh, the gums and the teeth, just the right colour since it's my first coat job. Um, I just thought, you know, this is going to be the hardest thing, and I, I wish, I, I really wish I did actually paint the inside of it before I put the tooth on. But, you know, it's a simple common mistake, but, you know, since it's going to be, you know, hanging up from a, another perspective, you won't really be able to see inside the mouth, but in the end of the day, um, I'm sure I can get around it somehow. Um, but, you know, like, apart from that, you know, it's... Uh, I really couldn't think you you could tell. I mean, if I just turn these lights off here. Um, I don't really suppose you really you can really tell inside the mouth, but I still need to work on this uh, mouth job. I, I don't know whether to go for the silver or the the clean white pearl teeth. I don't know. Probably a little, a little experiment. Um, but yeah, yeah. There you go. I've just realised as well that unlike the face hugger. I've got to do so much like detail like all around here and everything. It's just like oh god, you know. Um, but I thought you know I might risk it and just go with like a blood splatter effect from maybe like a kind of red spray. Um, just mess around as much as I can. And someone, uh, someone on YouTube gave me a good tip about blood splatter and running blood. Uh, a syringe full of um, oh, red dye and red paint just mixed together as a solution. Then just like uh, dropped and dabbed. Uh, just like around the teeth area, and if I wanted to fill the teeth area here, just do that. So I'm gonna have a go at that. But uh, you know, continue with the progress, and you should see it after it's done. Right here, YouTube. This uh, bitch is now painted up completely. It's wonderful. So uh, I'm just watching the making of aliens. So to give me a little bit of more inspiration for when the chest burster scenes come out. But uh, I'm going to give it a second coat now, and it'll probably just look the same when I give you the second coat, but here it is. Right here, the uh, second coat of paint is done. So, um, after that's dried, and I'm going on to the, uh, probably like the shadow patches if there's some that need to be done. And also, I've got some bad news. The end tail broke off, so I'm going to have to glue that back on for like the sixth time, you know, in two days. So, it's, it's so fragile, and... It does just do me in. Um but get that glued on then. I've made this uh, solution of red red acrylic paint and dark red food dye. So hopefully that'll make a nice little bloody effect for the uh, chest burster when it's done. So knit you back when it's done. Right here YouTube, I've just started experimenting with the uh, red dye and red paint. Um, so far it's going really well. I think I'm just going to have to spread it a little bit more. I've added like a bit of corn flour to give it a more lumpier effect. Look, look! It's the chest burst of it. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm getting pretty much most of the influential bits from. So I'm just going to add a bit of water to the next bit so it gives it more slimy as effect. So, I'm still going. My oh dear YouTube, we are done. Um, for the blood splattering effect is completely finished. I think I've done quite a good job on it. I haven't done it too fake, you know, it's uh, I've actually used for a tip for people who want to do all this kind of stuff. Um you know, the best thing is what okay, what well, what I did first was uh 
Okay, so I just got a pot like that, you can see with the paintbrush in. I just got some, uh, you know, a simple red food dye, um, and then obviously your acrylic or a point. I, I suggest acrylic, I mean, I think poster paint would be too uh, runny for it. Then just put half the solution of red colour in there, and then red acrylic in there. Mix it around so you get a nice pale colour, and then once it hits a nice pe another pale toned colour, it mixes just nicely. Uh, it gives it a more realistic blood effect. Um, and then basically what I did is I just started uh, sucking it up through the syringe and uh, basically just putting it in here like this and then just like started uh, oh, drop the syringe and I basically just started getting the uh, syringe and started doing this, you know, squeezing it on top and stuff like that. Just getting it all on here. Um, it took a couple of goes to get the right effect and obviously because it's red dye you can only do it once but there you go, there's a good effect. So I'm going to have to leave this dry for like an hour or two. And then I'm going to start getting it glossed and it should look absolutely toppy, so I'm really well excited. So once it's glossed, uh, I'll put it in the room and then you can see it. So this is it in its room, all glossed now. So this is it in its final piece. Uh, as you can see, it's all looking quite suave and nice. Um, it did take me absolutely ages to do. So here's the final piece, it's all done. The blood spotter effect took ages to do, then it was applied with a high gloss to give it a more orangey tone and um, it's actually looking really sweet. Um, I wish the light perspective in here was a bit better but there you go, it's looking much better than it was there. Uh, so really made up of it. So this is my last model for now uh, until I can clear out some more room and find some nice, nicer stuff to put up. But uh, here you go, this is the one to one chest burster from Aliens and it's from Halicom. Thanks YouTube, enjoy.